I'm John, and Redback make a huge range of 100 volt PA equipment. Here are some basics and why they're necessary for a public address system. Now most supermarkets, hardware stores, shopping centres and places that require large areas to have public address or background music, most use a 100 volt PA system. Now a low impedance 8 ohm or home system or even a large band PA cannot do the job. These systems are designed to operate two to four speakers. You can get more by using impedance matching devices that will allow you to run multiple pairs, but never enough to say, fill a supermarket. The 100 volt system overcomes this problem by utilizing transformers that attach to the speakers that convert the 100 volt AC to 8 ohm so the speaker can operate. Most 100 volt amplifiers come in different sizes for various applications. Now as you can see in this example here, this surface mount speaker is connected at 5 watts. This flush mount is tapped at 5 watts and this wall mount speaker at 10 watts, a total of 20 watts. This second line is connected in parallel at the amplifier and has a pendant speaker on it at 30 watts and two outside horns at 10 watts each, a total of 50 watts. Now this is a combined total of 70 watts. This is no problem for this 250 watt amplifier, which in theory could run 25 speakers at 10 watts. However, this is optimum. It is recommended to allow at least 20% headroom in your calculations. Now why is this? Now your car might say reach 140 kilometers per hour, but if you drove it all day at that speed, after some time, it would probably start to complain. It is the same with amplifier ratings. There's no need to run them flat out all the time. Now, as you can easily see here, with this horn speaker, the power tappings are easily adjustable with a simple screwdriver adjustment. So with this flush mount speaker, you'll notice the transformer on the back has different power tappings. It's just a matter of moving this slug to the appropriate power tapping for the job at hand. Now this outside projector speaker has markings on the rear to indicate the power tappings. Now you'll notice uh, black is common, 2.5 watts is yellow, 5 watts orange, 10 watts blue, 20 watts red. So if you wanted to tap this at 10 watts, would just be a matter of connecting the black and blue wires to achieve the 10 watts. Most supermarkets are only running low wattages per speaker. It is better to have more speakers at lower tappings to give you an even distribution of sound without blasting your ears when you're close to the speaker. In this example used before, if we disconnect the amplifier, you can check the load on your line with this impedance meter. You cannot use a normal multimeter. A multimeter measures DC resistance. The impedance meter measures AC resistance, and it will convert your reading to watts. So you can see your load at a glance, and it will display a short or open circuit. It is an essential tool for the PA installer. We've only touched the service in regards to 100 volt systems. Redback has a range that is suitable for the local cafe to large hardware stores or stadiums with an array of equipment. Redback has been making PA systems for over 45 years and much of it right here in Australia with the Australian made product offering an industry leading 10 year warranty and five year warranty on the commercial range of speakers and horns. For more information, check out redbackaudio.com.au.